Hey everybody, this is Jason Akers with Green Acres Pest Control again. I guess you could probably tell by my backdrop and my microphone here on my face and I, uh, I'm going to do a little bit of a different video today. This is uh, just so you know, you can check me out on greenacrespc.com. That's my website. It's A-K-E-R-S spelled like my last name. Um, also, I have a Facebook page at Green Acres Pest Control LLC. And uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you really like it, uh, think about subscribing to my channel so you can get all these updates and everything. Uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to do a really cool video series coming up on Wednesdays. I know I've been doing uh, Monday and Friday videos, but I'm going to start a new series on Wednesday. And I, I'll just let you see what that's going to be when Wednesday comes around. That'll just be a little teaser for you. But uh, anyway, today we're going to talk about mattress bags. Now for those that have ever had bed bugs or allergies or problems like that understand that you can get a mattress bag that will cover your bed. It protects your bed from allergens like uh, you know dust mites and things like that that will get into the mattress even pollen in some cases. And it also uh, they claim it is to help with bed bugs. Um, I'm here to show you how it does not help for bed bugs. And I hear, let me, uh, I'm going to take my video down for a minute and I'm going to show you, let's see here. Uh, actually, I think I might be able to just bring it right up over top of my video. Let's see here. There we go. Now that is a picture of a mattress bag. Now, if you'll look, uh, you see where it's it's kind of tore. Let me make it a little bigger here. Where it's tore right there, you can uh, you can see that tear right in that big hole in the mattress bag, and the bed bugs are actually living around that tear. Also, let me go ahead and well, if it will shrink for me, let's go ahead and do that. Let's make it a little bit smaller, and let's show you this one right here. And there's another tear. Now you see how the hole is right on the corner. Now what happens is when the mattress is laying on the bed frame through you know few days, few weeks, few months of use, the friction of the mattress, and of course you getting in and out of the bed, laying on the mattress, uh, will cause the box spring to kind of shift back and forth on the bed. Now as far as these covers for a mattress I don't think it's that bad you know putting it for like allergies or even for bed bugs on a mattress because the mattress is not going to come into contact with any kind of hard surfaces bolts um, you know things that would cause the uh, mattress cover to rip and tear and the problem with a uh, a box spring which is where the bed bugs want to live is that these it creates these holes where because a box spring is typically made of a wood frame all right so you've got a wood frame of your box spring and then you have the uh, metal frame or the wood frame of your bed and of course when those two rub together and they create friction it tears holes and this these are really good pictures to represent that how they tear holes in your bag now they'll be all right for a while let's see if I get up above here like this but uh, they'll um They'll work for a little while, but the problem is, is that bed bugs do not need a blood meal, but uh, like once every like year and a half to three years. So they don't need it really common in order to die. All right. So what what you'll find is that my wife will move around in her chair and make a lot of noise. Now, <laughs> it always happens when I have to when I have to do a different type of video like this. Some guy has to make a whole bunch of noise, and if you hear my kids in the background, they're probably fighting over a video game. But um, anyway, the uh, so what'll happen is over a few months of use, the holes will rip and tear in the box spring. Now the box spring is where bed bugs like to live. Now in this particular case, the woman was uh, living in her apartment for a year. They did a heat treatment on her apartment and they put her mattress and her box spring in bed bags. Now if you need to know what I think on heat treatments you can check my video. I'll put a link in the description below to that. Um, but 
they did a heat treatment. They encased her mattress and her box spring in these bags, and it has been a year, about, give or take a couple months. And she, the, uh, of course, I had to go out because the, the lady said, you know, she didn't want to do a heat treatment again because it obviously didn't work because here they have bed bugs again. And so what I had assumed when I got there, after, what, after thir thir through thorough inspection, I um, realized that the bed bugs actually never did die. The ones that were living in her box spring, they were always there. Uh, they couldn't get out because they sealed it up in this uh, bed bag. And because of the, uh, because they were still alive, as soon as the littlest hole got tore in the bag, they were right back out. Of course, like I said, laying on the bed bag and living across on the bed. And they were actually, I didn't get any picture of that, but they were actually living up near the uh, crown molding in the bedroom. Uh, there was a little spot where a little bit of the plaster had kind of separated from the wall a little bit. They were down inside the cracks of that. It was, it was pretty severe bed bug infestation. But it went from nothing to just boom, just thousands of them everywhere because they never really went anywhere. They were still living inside the box spring. All right, and here I'm going to show you some pictures. Go ahead and uh, take those down for right now. This is, now this is, this is just to give you an idea of how inexpensive bed bags are. And this is why a lot of people go to them. This is why a lot of exterminators use them. Um, because they charge, you know, two, three thousand dollars to do a bed bug treatment, especially heat. It's really expensive. And there's the prices you're looking at. Now, you got one right there at Walmart, fifteen dollars. You've got this one over here for this one, that's only fourteen dollars. So they're not very expensive, and if you you know they, if you really want to go cheap, there's a mattress cover right there for eleven dollars. So you've got to realize that they're, they're they're very inexpensive products. And here, let me let me show you. We'll go to this uh, website right here. Now, see that's how they you you stretch it all the way around the mattress in the box spring, and you pull that zipper up. The zipper's supposed to keep the uh, bed bugs from getting into your bed. Here's here. Let's show you one over at Walmart. Here's one at Walmart. See. That's a little bit of a better quality, I think, but that's that's the one that the woman had on her bed in there. You see? See that corner right there? That one, ooh, 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 I don't want to move that. Okay. Uh, see, that's the corner right there. We'll go ahead and hide this one right here. Boy, my daughter's loud. <laughs> but um, see, there's that corner right there that you see where it's laying right on the um, the bed frame. So let's 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 show you here. Let's see here. I don't know if it'll let me show you. Oh yeah, there we go. You see how the, the it lays right there. We're in that little rough spot right there where the bed is touching the uh, the bed bag. That's where you're gonna have a problem with holes forming. That's where the um, the bed bugs are gonna be able to escape. They're going to be able to come out right there, and then, of course, they'll crawl up, and they'll live in these little tufts right here. They'll live inside the zipper. They'll live all along the zipper in there. You have to peel those back and find them. What I usually recommend people do is just take the bed bag off and throw it away, and that's, that's what I always recommend. Never to use bed bags ever. They are all, uh, they're just, they're just not effective at all. They're not. I know people like to use them because they're really inexpensive. I mean, for $15, you can cover your bed, and you're not having to spend $100 uh, or hundreds of dollars on an exterminator to come in, or sometimes even thousands of dollars for an exterminator to come in and treat your apartment. Uh, I don't believe in using them as a product. I don't use them myself as an exterminator. I know there's a lot of exterminators that do. I just don't feel that it is uh, effective at all. And so because it doesn't work, I don't do it. Um, I use a chemical application, and if you'd like to uh, know more about that, you can check out my uh, website at greenacrespc.com, which I mentioned in the beginning of the video. There I have a little contact us form you can fill out and you can send, and it will send me information. I'll get back to you personally. I answer all of my emails. I answer everything that I can possibly do. If I do miss you, don't hesitate to send me another form. You know, bug me, irritate me, so that I get back to you because it doesn't really bother me at all. 
I like to talk to my uh, all my YouTube family. You guys know the ones that I have talked to that I'm just here to help. If you have any questions at all about how to get rid of bed bugs, uh, give me a uh, give me a message on on there. And like I said, it sends an email directly to me. Um, I'm not so good about checking my Facebook messages. It's still kind of new to me. But um, I'm also on Instagram. I'm on Twitter. I have been checking my Twitter. So you can always tweet me your questions there if you have any questions at all. And, I, of course, I'll link all that stuff in the information below if you're really uh, interested in it. I hope this video has been informative. I know a lot of people are having a lot of problems with bed bugs all across the country. Uh, this channel really wasn't meant to be a bed bug channel. It was just really there for pest control. And, you know, if you had any questions about roaches or crickets or fleas or anything like that, I'm always here to help you. And still, to this day, I still answer any questions you have about pest control. But um, hopefully this video has helped you, and hopefully you won't waste any money on getting rid of bed bugs, and that this can be uh, beneficial to you. I don't want anybody to waste money. That's why I'm here. <laughs> so y'all have a great day. I really appreciate it, and I'll be talking to you later.